<laughs> Matthew, you're the, you're the first one in oh, in, in line here. So giant. introduce yourself. Tell us, show us your office a little bit. Okay. Well, uh, you know, another day in the office. Uh, we happen. The office happens to be in Tampa, Florida today. My name is Matthew Setzer. Clicking buttons. Clicking buttons. All right. I guess we'll go over my. Uh, I guess we're talking gear, kids. So uh, here's my guitar. I play the guitar. I used to build guitars for a living. I built this out of spare pieces of wood we had in the shop for less than $200. I actually wound the original pickups, which have long since been destroyed. Um, I guess we'll start at the front of the stage and work backwards. Here's my, uh, uh, it's actually not an effects pedal. My amplifier is called a Kemper. They're from Germany. I have an endorsement with these guys. And I'm totally going to plug I'm totally going to plug Kemper amps right now because I, I don't know how I made music without this thing. But uh, it's all digital. It goes over a Cat5 cable, and it just controls uh, the amp. I'll get to that in a second. I got a couple <laughs> got, got a couple expression <laughs> pedals on here. Oh, William loves it. He loves it. And then uh, let's see here. Here's the, the front side of my amp. It's a pretty simple setup. This is my, uh, this, this is my guitar amp. It's got, like, you know, different kinds of profiling amplifiers, EQs, lots of effects, post effects, whatever. This is a giant voodoo doll I took from my parents' house when I was home in Montana. My mom fucking made this thing. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. My mom <laughs> made this thing, and I love it. She's very proud of it. Love to death. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, sometimes you realize the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So wireless, you know, guitar wireless comes in here straight to this thing. I only use the cab for onstage volume. There's no microphones here because the back of this thing has XLR out directs, and that's just going... Home running straight to front of house, and then um, I guess uh, this will be our this will be uh, like the real tech heavy stuff on the tour. This is all my equipment. Um, I designed this uh, monitoring system for the tour. We have a a couple rack splitter snakes here, so everything on stage, you know, drums, vocal microphones, you know, synths, absolutely everything plugs into the front of this splitter snake. One side of the splitter snake is in the analog realm, and that can go to front of house. Uh, and then the other side of it plugs in here and in the back of this uh, X32 rack. And so we're all mixing our own in-ears. So we all have, uh, like, this app right here. We can all, oh, my God, that just <laughs> shut off right in front of everybody. Did you see that? But we can all mix our own in-ears, which is super important on this tour because we're doing a lot of jamming. And uh, it really expedited rehearsals just to hear better. So the people that are mainlined with their ears, uh, it's William, Justin, and Dustin. Um, they just plug into this into this rack, and then me and Ogre have uh, wireless packs, so we're plugged into that. And then uh, it's just this is our playback machine. So playback comes out of here, goes into the front of this thing, just like everything else. And um, we also own the uh, the mixing board at the front of house, and that's just connecting onto this through a Cat5 cable. So there's a lot of Cat5s running around, and it's um, it's it's been working great. So I'm really glad I'm traveling with all of our own stuff. And. Uh, yeah, and then, and then this guy plugs into the uh, the USB card on the back of this, and I'm multi-track recording all the shows, playback machine, and it's great. It's going great. <laughs> gear, <laughs> gear, so much gear. Who's next? Dustin, show show us your office real quick. All right, <laughs> that's my office. All right, Dustin. Here you go. All right, moving on to my office. <laughs> so. All right, so this is my uh, setup uh, all together. There's a bunch of stuff going on here, so I'll kind of go through uh, as much of it as I can. Um, I've got uh, five synthesizers um, that I'm using on this tour. Uh, up front and center here is the DSi Pro 2. Um, this is my newest acquisition. I really love this synthesizer. It's super flexible. Um, the good folks at, at Dave Smith Instruments um, actually brought me into the office, showed me this whole thing, um, and really kind of like sold me on it about how powerful it is, and it really is a powerful synth. I've been loving working with it. Programming on it is really, really great, really intuitive. I really love it. I've got a couple of DSi pieces here. I've got the Pro 2 here, and then in my rack I have the Prophet 08. Uh, rack synth. Um, I really love both of them. One is, uh, this is a monophonic, paraphonic technically, but I'm mostly using it as a mono synth. Um, and then this is uh, an eight voice poly synth. Um, so it sounds like a lot of your performance for this tour is live real time performance. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing tons, tons of that for sure, for sure. So um, uh, in addition to that, um, I got myself uh, one of these uh, Roland DO5. This is part of their boutique series. It's a 
uh, just a direct reproduction in a small package of the Roland D50. Um, in addition to that, I've got a couple Waldorf pieces as well. Um, the Waldorf StrikeFet, which is a, a virtual string synthesizer, uh, like a virtual analog, essentially. Um, I really like this sound. This thing has got some great sounds, and it's been really useful for this uh, particular tour. And then in addition to that, I have um, a Waldorf uh, MicroQ, which I also really like. I've been a big fan of Waldorf for a long time, and I just think their stuff sounds really great. So it's got to make it. Work with. Yeah. It has to make it fun every night. Even you're, you're doing the same songs every night, but it's it's live. It's real time. Yeah. You have absolutely. a chance to improvise a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it so it is really fun, and a big part of pre-production for all of this is doing lots and lots of synth programming. So I've really gotten. You know, I've really been in and out of all of these synthesizers, and they're really great to program and stuff like that. The final piece in my rack that's a sound source is the Electrics Warp Factory. That's a vocoder. Um, this uh, synthesizer has a number of outs in the back, so I can run um, an output out of here that just goes directly here that I can vocode off of this microphone. So I use that a few at a few points during the uh, set. But other than that, that's pretty much my setup. I guess I'll go over a few other things here. Um, in addition to that, I've got this 24-channel roll-in line mixer, which has really made my live performance stuff really, uh, you know, easy and, and, and useful because I can essentially have all of my inputs right here, mix my mix all of my synthesizers together um, right on stage here, and just send a two-channel stereo output to front of house. Um, in addition to that, I should just mention um, the controllers that I'm using this time around. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff uh, from Keith McMillan Instruments. Um, I've got the two micro keyboards here. Um, in addition to a pad controller here that I can use as like kind of 16 individual chaos pads. Each of these will send um, uh, both X, Y, and Z pressure uh, signals that I can map to any CC, so I can do some filter sweeps and stuff like that with that. Um, in addition to this, I've got my foot pedal here that I use for uh, doing program changes, right? So this is a really powerful foot controller. I can send up to six program changes per key, so just with a single press, I can change all of the presets on every one of my, like all of my saved sounds for every one of my uh, synthesizers, which is really great. The other piece that I'll, I'll just mention, because I really love it and I think it's awesome, in the back here, the way that I've been able to, um, the way that I've been able to, uh, actually do all of this without a computer. You'll notice that some of the, the controllers that I'm using are USB MIDI controllers. This box makes everything happen. It's the iConnectivity uh, Mio 4 Plus. And it is a standalone MIDI interface that will actually u work as a USB uh, host. So I can use any USB-based MIDI controller exactly like and send, send it out a five pin MIDI kit to any of my synthesizers. So it's been really useful. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of everything I got going on at stage here. Awesome. Whoa. Yep. You're up. Yeah. We're going to do a drive-by here. This is, uh, <laughs> Justin's too shy to come on camera. <laughs> so this is his, his old uh, uh, time of drum set. He's had this for 18 years. I think it's been touring. It's toured with Skinny Puppy. It's toured with uh, Ogre. Um, probably Thrill Kill Cult, one of the other bands he plays with. And, oh, sorry. Uh, see, I should know this. <laughs> I've, I should know this. Anyways, I'll show you my rig really yeah. quickly. I'm not going to go on at length like the other guys did. They were proud of their things. I know they're proud of it, and they should be. Okay, so I've got a very simple setup. Like I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 well, I <laughs> what everybody loves about this setup is you're a harmonica and a pair of uh, yeah. No, it's the vertical monitor. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, that's so cool. But uh, it's actually really useful because I run pretty much uh, all virtual instruments. So I'm, I'm, I've been using Guitar Rig forever. I still use it for the bass. Um, and also, I, in tandem with this little gem here, which is a, a 300 watt Ampeg uh, 210 cab, which I use for stage fill and also just to round out the bass sound. Um, um, I love this piece of gear. Uh, <coughs> I play uh, Schechter instruments. Uh, they've been kind enough to give me uh, guitars and bass guitars for, for a number of years now. Um, this is one of the first ones, they, in fact, I think this is the first one they gave me. Uh, it's an old Diamond series, and I love it. It's great. It feels really good to play. Um, so other than that, you know, I'm running uh, some Arturia synths, uh, and I use Tractor. I don't use Tractor as a DJ rig, I use it as a sample instrument. And uh, so a lot of the samples that you hear triggered during the show are coming from my rig, and then some of the ambient uh, samples that we're using for jams and whatnot. And, uh, you know, you can use real-time effects with it and whatnot. So. I, I play very minimal keyboards, but there's there is sometimes we're all filling keyboards uh, for jams, live jams. We do a lot of uh, 
We still do a lot of what we call braps, you know, the live jams on stage. Yeah, and that's that's going to be pretty satisfying as an artist to be able to to improvise a little bit every night and to yeah. to stre stretch yourself creatively. And totally, no, no, it's great. This band, we, I mean, I can't tell you how much fun we have in this band. Okay, so the most important gear that I carry with me on the road <laughs> is right over here. This is my 85 Nishiki. <laughs> <laughs> and I take it everywhere I go. I've ridden this bike all over the world. But it's, uh, um, I think everybody else gets a little jealous because I've always got it in the trailer when we're in the city. It, I, I, saw, I was the first thing to come off of the trailer, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's taken care of every night. And, uh, and I often um, will jump off the tour bus at 7 o'clock in the morning if we're like 30, 40 miles from a venue. Uh, and uh, and ride, ride, ride the rest of the way into town. Yeah, it's a good way to keep in shape. Not that I'm in great shape, but anyways. Awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for your time. We're going to go up talk to Ogre real quick.